Good afternoon and happy hump day. Your boy Hostel Yogi is coming at you from the Shala here at Wonderland Healing Center in Koh Phangan, Thailand with a 10 minute stress relieving quick fix for the hips. Join me on your mat in a comfortable seated position and perhaps you choose easy pose. It will allow us to go into our first posture more effectively. So you'll place the feet in front of you at a comfortable distance away from the body. Allow yourself to sit upright. Place the biggest smile of your day on your face and draw your eyes closed. Gently place your awareness on your breath. And we just settle into a nice rhythmic breath tuning out the sounds around us and focusing on the sounds within the body. If that smile is upon your face, let it grow just a little larger as we start our physical asana practice here. You can blink your eyes open. We are going to start with a twist to one side. Place your hand on the opposite knee, the other arm behind you, and you'll twist to the side of your choice. It doesn't matter which side, we'll do the other side as well. gently release, we come back to neutral and we keep twisting in the opposite direction, doing the inverse of what we just held. Now the twist is not directly for the hips, but it is going to allow us to relax into our practice and relieving any, any tension, especially from the waist up. And this will allow us to get deeper into our hips as we fall forward. It's also quite relaxing to start your practice. Releasing a twist and we'll place the hands down in front of us. As we slowly walk forward, you will feel this in your outer hips. Gently walking forward until you find a position of resistance. You'll pause here. You may place all the weight in your hands or you may come down onto your forearms. You may feel this in your outer hips, in your outer upper thigh, in your IT band, anywhere along here. And perhaps for the last few breaths, if it's available to you, you make a pillow with your hands and you bring your forehead down to meet your hands. Gently walking yourself back up into an upright position. Whichever leg is in front, you're going to switch. And you're going to put the leg that was closest to your body in front of you. You may play with the foot position. Perhaps you have your legs way out here. Maybe they're way in here. Play with it if you're new to yin. Now we're going to do another twist in either direction. looking over that back shoulder. Now let's switch sides. Looking over the other shoulder. Coming back to neutral. 
placing our hands on the ground in front of us and fingertip walking ourselves closer to the ground. When you find the position of resistance, whether you're on your palms or you're on your forearms, hang out there. And as you slowly feel the release, perhaps you fingertip walk your hands further forward, getting even lower, closer to the ground. The last few breaths, perhaps you make a pillow with your hands and take your forehead to meet them. If you're good where you're at, feel free to stay because in the end there's no pushing, no pulling, and no forcing. Gently walking yourself back up. We're going to take the left leg in front of us. We're going to take the right leg and spin it around behind us. You may feel something in the right hip on the outer portion. And we're going to twist to the left this time. Right hand on the left knee, allowing you to twist a little more. And in this process, we walk both hands together and we slowly walk ourselves down, bowing or leaning to our left side. Just for a moment here, maybe you make a pillow with your hands again. You'll feel an opening in the right side of the body. You also feel a gentle stretch out in the right outer thigh and the hip. Walking yourself back up to neutral and we'll pinwheel the legs to the opposite direction. Right leg is now in front, left leg is bent and tucked behind you a little bit. Both sides of the body are not the same, so you may feel tighter or looser in this side. Be gentle with yourself. And let's twist to the right. Left hand on your right knee, allowing yourself to twist a little bit deeper. And now we're going to bring both hands to meet each other, opening up the left side of the body. And we're going to bow or we're going to bend down toward the ground. You feel this in the outer left hip and in the left side of the body. And perhaps you choose to make a pillow with your hands and your head meets your hands. Just a couple of breaths here. We're going to come up out of this. We'll come into our final pose for this 10 minute quick fix. This is a groin opener. Soles of the feet are placed together. You place them really close. It's going to be really in the groin. And if you place them far away from the body, you may feel it more in the hamstrings. I like to start with my legs nice and close to the body. You may even place the hands behind you and scoot your butt forward. Place the hands in front of you. Find a position of resistance. Fingertip walk yourself forward. And maybe even you find yourself down on your forearms. And you will hold this pose for one to five minutes, as long as you like. And following this pose, you will walk yourself back up to a seated position and if time allows, you will find yourself in a Shavasana for one to up to 15 minutes. Enjoy this practice daily, and if you wish for longer 30-minute or full one-hour yin yoga sessions, please subscribe to my channel, and you will see a list of yin yoga sessions for all different types. There's hour-long, there's myofascial release, there's for back pain, 
I'm Hostel Yogi, and I thank you for sharing your practice with me. Please hit the like button and a comment if you so choose. Namaste.